Varieties of Faith in the Empire by Brother Mikhail Karkuksor of the Imperial College. This is my best attempt at listing of the pantheons and associated divine spirits of Tamriel's dominant cultures. This list is by no means complete. The imperial city of Cyrodiil alone boasts a vast host of saints and holy spirits. It only includes the most important spirits revered by native members of the culture. Other, Etida, especially Daedra, are often familiar known to many cultures, though specific names are included here only when they possess a particular cultural significance. The omission of any reference to the worships of the Argonians of Black Marsh is a result of my complete inadequacy in reconciling the obscure and contradictory accounts available to me on that subject. The Eight Pantheons Cyrodiil Akatosh, Debella, Arke, Zenithar, Mara, Stendar, Kinnereth, Julianos, Shazar, Tiber Septum, Mori House, Bremen. Skyrim Alduin, Debella, Orki, Sun, Mara, Stun, Kine, Junal, Shore, Ismir, Hermamora, Malok. Altmer Ori El, Trinimac. Magnus, Syrabane, Yifra, Xarxes, Mara, Stendar, Lorcan, Finaster. Bosmer, Uriel, Yifra, RK, Zen, Xarxes, Bandar, Mara, Stendar, Lorcan, Hermamora, Joan, Jode. Dunmer, Almalexia, Vivek, Sothasil, Boethia, Mephala, Azura, Lorcan, Nerevar, Molegbal, Malakath, Shiagorath, Merunsdagen. Yokuda, Satakal, Ruptka, Tuwaka, Zait, Morwa, Tava, Maluk, Diagna, Sep, Hunding, Leki, Onsi. Brittany, Akatosh, Magnus, Yifra, Dibella, R.K., Zenithar, Mara, Stendar, Kinnereth, Julianos, Shior, Finaster. Elsewhere, Alkosh, Kenarthi, Riddlethar, Jakaje, Mara, Srendar, Lorkaj, Rajhin, Bandar, Azura, Shegaroth. Notes on the Divine Spirits of the Pantheons Akatosh, Dragon God of Time Akatosh is the chief deity of the Nine Divines, the major religious cult of Cyrodiil and its provinces, and one of two deities found in every Tamrielic religion, the other is Lorcan. He is generally considered to be the first of the gods to form in the beginning place. After his establishment, other spirits found the process of being easier, and the various pantheons of the world emerged. He is the ultimate god of the Cyrodiilic Empire, where he embodies the qualities of endurance, invincibility, and everlasting legitimacy. Alduin, World Eater Alduin is the Nordic variation of Akatosh, and only superficially resembles his counterpart in the Nine Divines. For example, Alduin's sobriquet, the World Eater, comes from myths that depict him as the horrible, ravaging firestorm that destroyed the last world to begin this one. Nords therefore see the god of time as both creator and harbinger of the apocalypse. He is not the chief of the Nordic pantheon. In fact, that pantheon has no chief, see shore below. But it's wellspring, albeit a grim and frightening one. Alkosh, Dragon King of Cats Pre-Ridata dynasty, and a Kenine deity, a variation on the Altmeri Oriel, and thus an Akatosh as culture hero for the earliest Khajiiti. His worship was co-opted during the establishment of the Brittle Thar, and he still enjoys immense popularity in elsewhere's wasteland regions. He is depicted as a fearsome dragon, a creature that Khajiit say is just a real big cat. He repelled an early Altmeri pogrom of Pelinal Whitestrake during mythic times. Almalexia, 
Mother Morrowind. Most traces of Akatosh disappeared from ancient Chimer legends during their so-called exodus, primarily due to that god's association and esteem with the Alt Mary. However, most aspects of Akatosh which seem so important to the mortal races, namely immortality, historicity, and genealogy, have conveniently resurfaced in Almalexia, the most popular of Morrowind's divine tribunal. R.K., God of the Cycle of Life and Death Member of the Nine Divines Pantheon, and popular elsewhere as well, R.K. is often more important in those cultures where his father, Akatosh, is either less related to time or where his time aspects are difficult to comprehend by the layman. He is the god of burials and funeral rites, and is sometimes associated with the seasons. His priests are staunch opponents of necromancy and all forms of the undead. It is said that R.K. did not exist before the world was created by the gods under Lorcan's supervision, urging trickery. Therefore, he is sometimes called the mortal's god. Ori El, King of the Aldmer The elven Akatosh is Ori El. Ori El is the soul of Anuviel, who in turn is the soul of Anu the Everything. He is the chief of most Altmeri pantheons. Most Altmeri and Bosmeri claim direct descent from Ori El. In his only known moment of weakness, he agreed to take his part in the creation of the mortal plane, that act which forever sundered the elves from the spirit worlds of eternity. To make up for it, Ori El led the original Aldmer against the armies of Lorcan in mythic times, vanquishing that tyrant and establishing the first kingdoms of the Aldmer, Altmora, and Old El Mafei. He then ascended to heaven in full observance of his followers, so that they might learn the steps needed to escape the mortal plane. Azura, Goddess of Dusk and Dawn Azura was the god ancestor that taught the Chimer the mysteries needed to be different than the Altmer. Some of her more conventional teachings are sometimes attributed to Boethia. In the stories, Azura is often more a communal cosmic force for the race as a whole than an ancestor or a god. Also known as the Anticipation of Sothasil. In Elsewhere, Azura is nearly a wholly separate entity, yet she is still tied into the origins of Kajiti out of Altmeri's stock. Bandar, the Bandit God in most regions, Bandar is a marginal deity, a trickster spirit of thieves and beggars. In elsewhere, he is more important and is regarded as the pariah. In this aspect, Bandar becomes the cleverness or desperate genius of the long-suffering Khajiit, whose last-minute plans always upset the machinations of their elven or human enemies. Boethia, Prince of Plots Heralded by the Prophet Veloth, Boethia is the original god ancestor of the Dark Elves. Through his illuminations, the eventual Chimer, or Changed Folk, renounced all ties to the Aldmer and founded a new nation based on Daedric principles. All manner of Dark Elven cultural advances are attributed to Boethia, from philosophy to magic to responsible architecture. Ancient Velothi allegories are uniformly heroic successes of Boethia over enemies of every type, foundation stories of Chimeri struggle, also known as the Anticipation of Almalexia. Diagna, or a Calc god of the Sideways Blade. Hori Thuggish Cult of the Red Guards, originated in Yokuda during the 27 Snake Folk Slaughter. Diagna was an avatar of the Hunding, the Yokudan god of Make Way, see below, that achieved permanence. He was instrumental to the defeat of the left-handed elves, as he brought Orichalc weapons to the Yokudan people to win the fight. In Tamriel, he led a very tight-knit group of followers against the orcs of Orsinium, during the height of their ancient power, but then faded into obscurity. He is now little more than a local power spirit of the Dragontail Mountains. 
Dibella, goddess of beauty. Popular god of the Nine Divines. In Cyrodiil, she has nearly a dozen different cults, some devoted to women, some to artists and aesthetics, and others to erotic construction. Herma Mora, the Woodland Man. Ancient Atmoran demon who, at one time, nearly seduced the Nords into becoming Aldmer. Most Iskramor myths are about escaping the wiles of old Hermamora. Also called the Demon of Knowledge, he is vaguely related to the cult origins of the Morag Tong, Forester's Guild, if only by association with his brother, sister, Mephala. Hunding, the Makeway God. Yokut in spirit of perseverance over infidels. The Hunding has historically materialized whenever the Red Guards need to make way for their people. In Tamrielic history, this has only happened three times twice in the First Era during the Ragada invasion, and once during the Tiber War. In this last incarnation, the Hunding was said to have been either a sword or a crown or both. Junal, Rune God. The Nordic god of hermetic orders. After falling out of favor with the rest of that pantheon, he became Julianos of the Nine Divines. He is absent in modern Skyrim mythology. Jod, Big Moon God. Aldmeri god of the Big Moon, also called Master or Mara's Tear. In Kajiti religion, Jod is only one aspect of the lunar lattice or Jakaje. Joan, Little Moon God. Aldmeri, God of the Little Moon, also called Secunda or Stendar's Sorrow. In Kajiti religion, Joan is only one aspect of the Lunar Lattice or Jakaje. Julianos, God of Wisdom and Logic. Often associated with Junal, the Nordic father of language and mathematics, Julianos is the Cyrodiilic god of literature, law, history, and contradiction. Monastic orders founded by Tiber Septim and dedicated to Julianos are the keepers of the Elder Scrolls. Kain, kiss at the end. Nordic goddess of the storm. Widow of Shore and favored god of warriors, she is often called the mother of men. Her daughters taught the first Nords the use of the Thum, or Storm Voice. Kinnereth, Goddess of Air. Kinnereth is a member of the Nine Divines, the strongest of the Sky Spirits. In some legends, she is the first to agree to Lorcan's plan to invent the mortal plane, and provides the space for its creation in the Void. She is also associated with rain, a phenomenon said not to occur before the removal of Lorcan's divine spark. Leki, Saint of the Spirit Sword. Goddess daughter of Tall Papa, Leki is the goddess of aberrant swordsmanship. The Nata Tambu of Yokuda warred to a standstill during the mythic era to decide who would lead the charge against the left-handed elves. Their swordmasters, though, were so skilled in the best-known cuts as to be matched evenly. Leki introduced the ephemeral feint. Afterwards, a victor emerged and the war with the Aldmer began. Lorcan, the Missing God This creator, trickster, tester deity is in every Tamrielic mythic tradition. His most popular name is the Aldmeri Lorcan, or Doomdrum. He convinced or contrived the original spirits to bring about the creation of the mortal plane, upsetting the status quo, much like his father Padome had introduced instability into the universe in the beginning place. After the world is materialized, Lorcan is separated from his divine center, sometimes involuntarily, and wanders the creation of the Etada. He and his metaphysical placement in the scheme of things is interpreted a variety of ways. In Morrowind, for example, he is a being related to the Sigic Endeavor, a process by which mortals are charged with transcending the gods that created them. Through the High Elves, he is the most unholy of all higher powers, 
as he forever broke their connection to the spirit plane. In the legends, he is almost always an enemy of the Aldmer, and, therefore, a hero of early mankind. Lorkaj, Moon Beast Pre-Ridata dynasty, an Akenine deity, easily identified with the missing god Lorcan. Magnus, Magus The god of sorcery, Magnus withdrew from the creation of the world at the last second, though it cost him dearly. What is left of him on the world is felt and controlled by mortals as magic. One story says that, while the idea was thought up by Lorcan, it was Magnus who created the schematics and diagrams needed to construct the mortal plane. He is sometimes represented by an astrolabe, a telescope, or, more commonly, a staff. Cyrodiilic legends say he can inhabit the bodies of powerful magicians and lend them his power. Associated with Zurin Arctus, the Underking. Malakath, God of Curses. Malakath is the reanimated dung that was Trinimac. A somewhat weak but vengeful Daedra, the Dark Elves say he is also Malak, the God King of the Orcs. He always tests the Dunmer for physical weakness. Maluk, Horde King. An enemy god of the Ra Gada, led the goblins against the Red Guards during the First Era, fled east when the army of the Hunding overtook his goblin hordes. Maulok, Malakath. An orcish god, Maulok troubled the heirs of King Harald for a long time fled east after his defeat at the Battle of Dragon Wall, circa 1st era, 660. His rage was said to fill the sky with his sulfurous hatred, later called the Year of Winter and Summer. Mara, goddess of love, nearly universal goddess. Origins started in mythic times as a fertility goddess. In Skyrim, Mara is a handmaiden of kind. In the Empire, she is Mother Goddess. She is sometimes associated with Nier of the Anuad, the female principle of the cosmos that gave birth to creation. Depending on the religion, she is either married to Akatosh or Lorcan, or the concubine of both. Merun's Dagon, God of Destruction. Popular Daedric Power. He is associated with natural dangers like fire, earthquakes, and floods. In some cultures, though, Dagon is merely a god of bloodshed and betrayal. He is an especially important deity in Morrowind, where he represents its near inhospitable terrain. Mephala Androgyne Mephala is the web spinner, or the spider god. In Morrowind, he, she, was the ancestor that taught the Chimer the skills they would need to evade their enemies, or to kill them with secret murder. Enemies were numerous in those days since the Chimer were a small faction. He, she, along with Boethia, organized the clan systems that eventually became the basis for the Great Houses. He, she, founded the Morag Tong, also called the Anticipation of Vivek. Moleg Ball, God of Schemes, King of Rape. Daedric power of much importance in Morrowind. There, he is always the archenemy of Boethia, the Prince of Plots. He is the main source of the obstacles to the Dunmer and preceding Chimer people. In the legends, Moleg Ball always tries to upset the bloodlines of houses or otherwise ruin Dunmeri purity. A race of super monsters said to live in Moleg Amur are the result of his seduction of Vivek during the previous era. Mori House, First Breath of Man, Ancient cultural hero god of the Syro Nordics. Legend portrays him as the taker of the citadel, an act of mythic times that established human control over the valley heartland. He is often associated with the Nordic powers of Thum, and, therefore, with Kinnereth. Morwa, Teat God 
Yokudan Fertility Goddess, fundamental deity in the Yokudan pantheon and the favorite of Tall Papa's wives, still worshipped in various areas of Hammerfell, including Stros Mackay. Morwa is always portrayed as four-armed, so that she can grab more husbands. Nerevar, God Killer, the Chimeri King of Restain, the Golden Age of Old Veloff. Slain during the Battle of Red Mountain, Nerevar was the herald of the Triune Way and is the foremost of the saints of Dunmeri faith. He is said to have killed Dumak, the last dwarven king, and feasted on his heart. Ansi, Bone Shaver, notable warrior god of the Yokudan Ragada. Ansi taught mankind how to pull the knives into swords. Orki, Old Knocker, a lone god of the Nords who seemed to have taken up his worship during Aldmeri rule of Atmora. Nords believed they once lived as long as elves until Orki appeared. Though through heathen trickery, he fooled them into a bargain that bound them to Count of Winters. At one time, legends say, Nords only had a lifespan of six years due to Orki's foul magic. Shore showed up, though, and through unknown means removed the curse, throwing most of it onto the nearby orcs. Finaster, hero god of the Somerset Isles, who taught the Altmer how to naturally live another hundred years by using a shorter walking stride. Rajhin, footpad, Thief god of the Kajiti, who grew up in the Black Kiergo section of Senchal. The most famous burglar in Elsewhere's history, Rajin is said to have stolen a tattoo from the neck of Empress Kintyra as she slept. Riemann, the Cyrodiil. Culture god hero of the Second Empire, Riemann was the greatest hero of the Akaviri Trouble. Indeed, he convinced the invaders to help him build his own empire, and conquered all of Tamriel except for Morrowind. He instituted the rites of becoming emperor, which included the ritual Gias to the Amulet of Kings, a soul gem of an immense power. His dynasty was ended by the Dunmeri Morag Tong at the end of the First Era, also called the Worldly God. Riddlethar, Two Moons Dance the cosmic order deity of the Kajiti, the Riddlethar was revealed to elsewhere by the prophet Riddlethar Ridata, the main. The Riddlethar is more a set of guidelines by which to live than a single entity, but some of his avatars like to appear as humble messengers of the gods, also known as the Sugar God. Rutka, Tallpapa, chief deity of the Yokudan pantheon. Ruptga, more commonly Tall Papa, was the first god to figure out how to survive the hunger of Satakal. Following his lead, the other gods learned the walkabout, or a process by which they can persist beyond one lifetime. Tall Papa set the stars in the sky to show lesser spirits how to do this too. When there were too many spirits to keep track of, though, Ruptga created a helper out of the dead skin of past worlds. This helper is Sep, see below, who later creates the world of mortals. Satakal, the world skin. Yokudan, god of everything, a fusion of the concepts of Anu and Padome. Basically, Satakal is much like the Nordic Alduin, who destroys one world to begin the next. In Yokudan mythology, Satakal had done, and still does, this many times over a cycle which prompted the birth of spirits that could survive the transition. These spirits ultimately become the Yokudan Pantheon, popular god of the Alikir nomads. Shiagorath, the Mad God The fearful obeisance of Shiagorath is widespread, and is found in most Tamrielic quarters. Contemporary sources indicate that his roots are in Aldmeri creation stories, therein he is born when Lorcan's divine spark is removed. One crucial myth calls him the Sithith-shaped hole of the world. Shior, Bad Man In Brettany, the Bad Man is the source of all strife. 
He seems to have started as the god of crop failure, but most modern theologians agree that he is a demonized version of the Nordic shore, born during the dark years after the fall of Sarthal. Sep, the snake. Yokudan version of Lorcan. Sep is born when Tall Papa creates someone to help him regulate the spirit trade. Sep, though, is driven crazy by the hunger of Satakal, and he convinces some of the gods to help him make an easier alternative to the walkabout. This, of course, is the world as we know it, and the spirits who followed Sep become trapped here to live out their lives as mortals. Sep is punished by Tall Papa for his transgressions, but his hunger lives on as a void in the stars, a non-space that tries to upset mortal entry into the far shores. Shazar, God of Man Cyrodiilic version of Lorcan, whose importance suffers when Akatosh comes to the fore of imperial, really, Alessian, religion. Shazar was the spirit behind all human undertaking, especially against Aldmeri aggression. He is sometimes associated with the founding of the first Cyrodiilic battle mages. In the present age of racial tolerance, Shazar is all but forgotten. Shor, god of the underworld. Nordic version of Lorcan, who takes sides with men after the creation of the world. Foreign gods, that is, elven ones, conspire against him and bring about his defeat, dooming him to the underworld. Atmoran myths depict him as a bloodthirsty warrior king who leads the Nords to victory over their Aldmeri oppressors time and again. Before his doom, Shor was the chief of the gods sometimes also called children's god, see Orki, above. Sothasil, mystery of Morrowind. God of the Dunmer, Sothasil is the least known of the di divine tribunal. He is said to be reshaping the world from his hidden clockwork city. Stendar, god of mercy. God of the nine divines, Stendar has evolved from his Nordic origins into a deity of compassion, or sometimes righteous rule. He is said to have accompanied Tiber Septim in his later years. In early Altmeri legends, Stendar is the apologist of men. Stun, God of Ransom Nordic precursor to Stendar, brother of Tsun, shield thane of Shore. Stun was a warrior god that fought against the Eldmeri pantheon. He showed men how to take, and the benefits of taking, prisoners of war. Sirabane, Warlock's God An Eldmeri god ancestor of magic, Sirabane aided Bendu Olo in the fall of the Slode. Through judicious use of his magical ring, Sirabane saved many from the scourge of the Thracian plague. He is also called the Apprentice's God, for he is a favorite of the younger members of the Mages Guild. Tava, Bird God Yokudan Spirit of the Air Tava is most famous for leading the Yokudans to the Isle of Hern after the destruction of their homeland. She has since become assimilated into the mythology of Kinnereth. She is still very popular in Hammerfell among sailors, and her shrines can be found in most port cities. Tiber Septim Talos, the Dragonborn Heir to the seat of sundered kings, Tiber Septim is the most important hero god of mankind. He conquered all of Tamriel and ushered in the Third Era and the Third Empire, also called Ismir, Dragon of the North. Trinimac, strong god of the early Aldmer, in some places more popular than Oriel. He was a warrior spirit of the original elven tribes that led armies against the men. Boethia is said to have assumed his shape. In some stories, he even eats Trinimac, so that he could convince a throng of Aldmer to listen to him, which led to their eventual Chimeri conversion. He vanishes from the mythic stage after this, to return as the dread Malakath. Altmeri propaganda portrays this as the dangers of Dunmeri influence. Tsun Extinct Nordic god of trials against adversity, died defending shore from foreign gods. 
Tuwaka, Tricky God. Yokudan, God of Souls. Tuwaka, before the creation of the world, was the god of nobody really cares. When Tall Papa undertook the creation of the walkabout, Tuwaka found a purpose. He became the caretaker of the far shores and continues to help red guards find their way into the afterlife. His cult is sometimes associated with R.K. in the more cosmopolitan regions of Hammerfell. Vivek, Master of Morrowind, Warrior, Poet, God of the Dunmer. Vivek is the invisible keeper of the Holy Land, ever vigilant against the dark gods of the volcano. He, she, has saved the Dunmeri people from certain death on numerous occasions, most notably when he, she, taught them how to breathe water for a day, so that he, she, could flood Morrowind and kill the Akaviri invaders, circa 2nd era, 572. Xarxes Xarxes is the god of ancestry and secret knowledge. He began as a scribe to Oriel, and has kept track of all Aldmeri accomplishments, large and small, since the beginning of time. He created his wife, Ogma, from his favorite moments in history. Yifra, God of the Forest Most important deity of the Bosmeri Pantheon. While Oriel Time Dragon might be the king of the gods, the Bosmer revere Yifra as the spirit of the now, According to the Wood Elves, after the creation of the mortal plane, everything was in chaos. The first mortals were turning into plants and animals and back again. Then, Yifrid transformed himself into the first of the Elnofe, or Earth Bones. After these laws of nature were established, mortals had a semblance of safety in the New World because they could finally understand it. Yifrid is sometimes called the Storyteller for the lessons he taught the first Bosmer. Some Bosmer still possess the knowledge of the Chaos Times, which they can use to great effect, the Wild Hunt. Ismir, Dragon of the North The Nordic aspect of Talos. He withstood the power of the Greybeard's voices long enough to hear their prophecy. Later, many Nords could not look on him without seeing a dragon. Zen, God of Toil Bosmeri, god of payment in kind. Studies indicate origins in both Argonian and Akaviri mythologies, perhaps introduced into Valenwood by Kothringi sailors. Ostensibly an agriculture deity, Zen sometimes proves to be an entity of a much higher cosmic order. His worship died out shortly after the Knatten flu. Zet, god of farms. Yokudan, god of agriculture, renounced his father after the world was created, which is why Tall Papa makes it so hard to grow food. Zenithar, god of work and commerce, traitor god. Member of the Nine Divines, Zenithar is understandably associated with Zen. In the Empire, however, he is a far more cultivated god of merchants and middle nobility. His worshippers say, despite his mysterious origins, Zenithar is the god that will always win. <laughs>